Hello Pokemon trainers and welcome to my new series Exploring Pokemon where I take a look at each individual Pokemon anime series in greater depth and analyse them. As you may or may not know, Pokemon has done a variety of different anime series that has aired across various platforms both TV and online. Each series gives their own spin on a Pokemon franchise, so sit back and relax as we take a look at what Pokemon has to offer. Today I am looking at a series that perhaps started a new trend for a Pokemon anime and that is Pokemon Origins. For those of you who do not know, Pokemon Origins was the first series that was a lot more faithful to the games in comparison to the original Pokemon anime. As the original series at times, strayed away from the games in many ways. Some Pokemon knew moves that they shouldn't. Or type advantages were ignored. It was also made of mostly filler episodes that did not add to the progression of the story. The series aired on TV Tokyo in Japan and was released online on the Pokemon TV website for the Western audience in 2013. The series was released in four parts. Each part not only had a different director, but also is produced by different studios, which are Production IG, Xpec, and OLM. OLM is also known for doing the majority of the other Pokemon series. What is quite peculiar is that whilst they are different studios and different directors, the animation style and directing felt very similar. There has been no reason why this is the case. But if I had to guess, I would think that it was to cut down on the production time as they could be created all at once. Pokemon Origins was new to promote the latest Pokemon games as of the time that were X and Y. These games introduced Mega Evolution that was also used in Pokemon Origins. Whilst this is the case, it was certainly also news to reconnect with anyone who had grown up and left Pokemon in their childhood, as it was based on the original Pokemon games Red and Blue. This is very much a part of my generation, and there was a lot of hype at the time for this, and many people who had previously played the games tuned in to watch this. Pokemon Black and White were the lowest sales of a new Pokemon generation mainline game. This dip may have caused the Pokemon company to look at ways to help the sales and this could have potentially been a reason why Pokemon Origins was created. As the series follows Red and Blue very closely, it puts its own spin on the game's original soundtrack. I have always heard the music only through 8-bit tracks, but now the series brings these tracks to life and creates this orchestral soundtrack. The series brings the 2D games to life, creating scenes that a child me had imagined. This series is a huge nostalgia kick. It even does little things like change the sound of a Pokeball to be more loyal to original games. It has health bars similar to the games, to see the iconic cities as they appear in-game or bring into life the NPC characters just shows what sort of team were behind the series. They clearly were passionate and knew the games inside and out. As well as this, there are also times where the dialogue of a series is almost one-to-one -to, -one to that of the original games. Hello there, and welcome to the world of Pokémon. My name is Professor Oak. I'm often referred to as the Professor of Pokémon. All of this and more just adds to the series, creating the most faithful adaptation to a Pokémon game. This is something that has not been done before. In the original Pokémon series, it obviously follows some aspects of the games, but it is more so following the journey of Ash and friends. With Origins, it feels exactly like the game. Pokémon Origins has also taken a darker twist than the Pokemon anime is used to. As it follows the games closer, we see darker themes such as the ghost of Cubone's mother, with Cubone dealing with the death of his mother, which was never told upon in the original anime. It is quite amazing that no human words are spoken from Cubone, yet the pain and grief is obvious and is such an emotional scene. As well as this, the fights themselves seem to be more brutal. The impact of each move seems a lot more real. We feel the pain of a Pokemon. We hear the piercing screams and cries from Charmander as he is bitten by Squirtle. Fight! The use of darker themes and more gritty fights perhaps reflects the audience they want to appeal to. The kids that played Pokemon Red and Blue are no longer kids, but are in the late teens, early 20s. By changing it, the series tries its best to read in the old fanbase that previously abandoned the game. 
This series can feel a bit rushed at times. It did skip a lot of scenes and gym fights, which is quite understandable in the context of it being mainly a promotional series. However, it would still be nice to see the series with a few more episodes, so that we can really see more detail. The dream would be to have a series like this for every Pokemon generation. As it was news for a promotion for the upcoming Pokemon X and Y games, they also added a little taste of for what's to come in the form of Mega Evolutions, as it shows off Mega Charizard X. Obviously, it cannot be Pokemon related if it doesn't show off Charizard and its new forms. Overall, Pokemon Origins was a great watch for all Pokemon fans. It finally answered what millions of Pokemon fans wanted, an anime closer to the games with more appealing Pokemon fights. It was only 4 episodes, but they truly opened the pathway to new Pokemon series to be released in the future. Speaking of future Pokemon series, if you liked this video please do like and subscribe as I plan to explore further Pokemon series. Let me know your thoughts on Pokemon Origins in the comments below. That's it from me and I'll see you in the next video.